some of the sickest looking knights I've ever seen. <laughs> Bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are on location at the Dark Bunny Creatives. Uh, what do you want to call it? Studio Heidi Hole, Titan Hanger, Bunny Hole, the Bunny Hole, the Bunny Hole. Well, it's not the Bunny Ranch. I can definitely. It could be. I, I can testify that this is not the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> but but these are some uh, some super sweet sexy nights that's for sure. Uh, I don't even know where to begin with. I mean, I guess these are okay. I probably spent like a hundred bucks on these. Wow, really? I mean, wow. you know, I'm an American. All I got is sarcasm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm here with Val. He's the uh, he's the head. What what what's your title here? I am the co-owner and the art director at our studio, the Bunny Creatives. Wow, that sounds. It's fancy. I need to get yeah. myself a title one of these days. Oh, I'm a hobby expert. That's what it is. There I'm a hobby go. expert. You're a hobby expert. Yeah, I'm people. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about like these sick nights, like for real. Is that a sister? What's what's going on here? Oh, all right. So the I don't actually know where to be in there so much. I know there really is. Here. You just pick one and we'll oh, talk my about goodness. it. All right. Well, what's the Big Dipper? You got the Big Dipper on this thing. No, no, that is the Cetus constellation. Uh, yep, what you said. Yep. So, um, any case, the when this is one of a kind, we're never probably. Well, I shouldn't say never. Most likely, not something we're going to be replicating to this caliber. So, this is absolutely a unique project. I've, I've never seen anything across. like it, and I don't think I don't know. There are some. There are some absolutely amazing people that can do some gorgeous stuff, but. For us as a commercial commercial studio, no, this was this was a labor of love, honestly. About sustainability and it's it's not about that. It's just the amount of planning and work that has to go into each of this. Some of even the stuff that looks more on the simpler side, mm -hmm. like there's everything that actually has meaning, like every element on the on the freehanding, on the planning, on the conversion work here. There's not a lot, a lot of conversions, there's a few, right? But there's like, it's just a level of planning and designing how everything is gonna work is just not really commercially viable in my opinion. No, I, I agree. But this is a, this is truly a work of art, which uh, suits y'all just fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're right. Something like this doesn't come along uh, very no, often. This is, this is one of a kind. 100%. So the client, when he contacted us, he pitched this idea mm -hmm. with which this is the kind of situation that is just out of the realm of norm in this industry. Oh, yeah, in my, for my sure. opinion, where the client has the idea and they're taking that idea, working with you, you're bouncing up ideas off of them, you, they're bouncing them back, and it just starts escalating, and honestly, it's spiraling out of control. <laughs> so his idea was he wanted a, a night household uh -huh. that was attached to the navigator, to the novice nebulae, the navigator. Oh, so that explains this little dude. Yep, that's why we have that guy in there, which I actually love that model, honestly. Oh yeah, he's pretty tight. Uh, yeah. Well, just... Ah, just these stacks on it. In any case, right? So the guy goes, I want. Can uh, we call him Big Head? You want to call him Big Head? Yeah, let's we'll just call him Big Head. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Flathead. Okay, Flathead. Or Hammerhead. Hammerhead, there you hammerhead. go. There, there you go. go. All right, so Hammerhead here. Let's, tell me about Hammerhead. Um, we added actually him after the project got rolling because the Blackstone Fortress just got released. Like, this project started. To give you a ballpark, don't quote me on this, it's probably around nine to ten months ago. It I'm has gonna, taken that right. long. Okay, thank you. It's on, it's on the internet. <laughs> I'm just, I it just went on record. All right, fair enough. Uh, but this project, yeah, it has started almost close to about a year ago. And wow. that's what it took to actually get it completed. And the client was just a delight on that front. Like, hmm. sometimes they couldn't get. You know, something doesn't work out right, the communication breaks down, or doesn't matter, and the client was just absolutely a peach about it, you know, completely understanding. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm not expecting you to crank it out and want the work that you can produce. And so... Nice. It's, yeah. it's good to have those kind of uh, 
Yeah, well, does, actually, does, uh, we, were, I, we were having, it's probably, I wouldn't call even a client at that point. Yeah, uh, it's like calling. literally a patron of the better, arts. Better description here. Yeah, but that's what it is. To give, a perspective, to give you guys a perspective, this is the type of client that I call up and say, hey, I have this idea. The project is already started. We talked the majority about, right? It's already decided what we're doing. I call the guy up and say, hey, I got this idea. He's like, <laughs> all right, hit me what it is. And, say, and I go, I'm not going to tell him. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. If you don't like it, I'm not going to do it. It's just going to be included. And he was like, all right, let's do this. I mean, What's was, a mystery box? Oh, the mystery box, I'll show it, I'll show it. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. Okay. Well, let's, but, uh, let's... So, the overall idea mm -hmm. of this was to navigate your houses. We came up with the idea to how to incorporate, how to get the astral feel to them, right? And we that's why we chose the blue the blue and the gold, which is a very classical, um, going almost back to the 13th century art use of lapis lazuli with uh, gold leaf for some of the scenes to show the... Uh, uh, the sky and that's where the, the color combination came from and what we started to do after that okay what what can we do and this was what the challenge was so we came up with an idea to use constellations mm. then they got complicated even further which constellations do we use for which night uh -huh. so to give you a perspective the perceptor yeah, here that little guy. The perceptor here is called Cepheus isn't that the fish, dude? No. No, that's Cetus, which, uh -huh. we, which we also See, have. I know stuff. Cepheus is the king uh -huh. constellation. Uh -huh. And since the Perceptor Knights are actually the... King is Rex, ranks. right? Yeah. Isn't Rex means king? Yes. See, I know dinosaur stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, or a little bit of that. Yeah, Did whatever. you want to take a look at it. I like but dinosaurs. <laughs> I think I'm the only person I know that is not that hot about dinosaurs. Wow. I know. I just admitted that. Video on over. I know. <laughs> but, yeah, so each constellation had to be working with the particular knight, what the knight represents. Mm -hmm. What So, like, give you an idea, the dominance, mm -hmm. right? We went with the theme of Nessus, the centaur that, uh, that uh, kidnapped Hercules' wife. Who killed? Who Hercules killed crossing the river stream? His cloak got his wife's cloak got soaked in the blood of of um, Nessus, and he told her, "Use that cloak; it will help you." Because Hercules is about to do something, which caused Hercules to actually start strangling, and in rage, he actually killed his wife and his children in the guard. Yikes! This, so this video yeah, got that's depressing. One, that's one. That's one of the. That's one of the versions. So what we did was <laughs> all right. We've got a centaur. It fits the big, massive, imposing nut, yes, right? Out of the Dogmas class. What do we do with it? Um, and this was put another... a green on the or put a custodian on the front. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this was another that one of those calls. Hey, I got this this ridiculous idea. Because all right, tell me. Wait, is I, that a custody in a? Oh, let me show in like a warhorse in a one of them imperial fantasy empire knights. So we figured out a way huh. to actually do Wow. A you centaur. made a centaur. That's pretty dope. And there's just constellations and stuff. Yep. Alright, I take it back. I'd, I'd spend like 200 bucks on this. <laughs> We're not done yet. Okay. We are not done yet. What else? What else are we talking about? Oh, grab that Lancer. That Lancer's tight. Oh, yeah. Can we get to it? Yeah. Hold on, let's pause it real quick. We're back with magic. So we have the Lancer or Regis. And the constellation that we picked for him was Majestic Orion. Oh, that makes Where sense. It's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. Orion has a belt. See, I know stuff. Yeah. Actually, this might have been the night that I could not find a way to make the constellation work. But it looks pretty dope to look me. Close here, right on the chest plate, right there, mm -hmm. we have a little bit of creation. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So that's a decal, right? No. That is pretty <laughs> <laughs> Can't confirm, not a decal. <laughs> not a decal. You used a brush for that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm liking so, it. And he was the, we specifically posed him on a more of a resting, imposing. Yeah, he's base. like, I just finished a battle. He's just like, I'm the, bi I'm the biggest one here. Like, yep. Bring it. Love it. All right, so the next guy up is Cetus. Oh, okay, so that this is, is the Cetus. Gotcha. 
Killer Cosmic Whale. With the Big Dipper. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I got you to agree to it. It's a Big Dipper now. Oh my goodness. So, legit. I love all the freehand and the metallic, like, freehand you even did on the Constellations down there, yeah. on the Greaves. That's actually taken from the Horus Heresy Word Bearers iconography, uh. because the, those stellar charts, the mm -hmm. Just Lily design language was, was perfect for this, to break up the... Is that a cannon thing. wheel for his iron for his iron halo, ion shield? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> no bullshit, is that what it is? No. Yep, that's actually yeah. It's not it's not a cannon wheel. It's the wheel from that. Um, oh my goodness, that uh, something planetarium I carriage. Oh, you know, the horse the carriage. Used, yeah, the thing you used right here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, I knew that's I recognized that, it from that's somewhere. where that part is. Nice. From again. So we yeah we tried to keep that uh, navigator that uh, astrological theme going really well. Definitely works. Yep, and one of the things would ended up doing is uh, probably my most favorite feature is the Roman style, Roman legionary style helm. Yeah, that's definitely pretty tight. And now the little guys. Who's this guy? So this is the Ed Sagita. Yep, what you said. Arrow. Tight. Which is work delivering a little bit differently because the constellation was very limited. It's very actually simplistic. Mm -hmm. So, And all of these guys are magnetized. I would hope so, be, gosh. Only the thing is obviously the Dominus and the Lancer, but... You switch out, switch out the weapons between the yep. guns and stuff? Yep. Or? They both have both co uh, complements of weaponry, so they can be run either as a Helvarian or a Warglaive. Nice. What about speed and Warglaives? Hmm? Oh, that is the Warglaive. That's the Helvarian. That's the Helvarian. I yeah. know stuff. So this is the Persepia or the Little Lion. And this one, I actually started to change the uh, art style for mm -hmm. these freehand. This is more of an oriental feel. Oh yeah, style. definitely. More of a Japanese feel to it. The long, the gold inlays and filigree was more, again, in lieu with that. So quite a bit of a challenge to try to mix art styles and actually make it work. And pull it off, yeah. Yeah. Think it, think it all. Well, we got one more left. Let's check him out. And uh, the, the green knight. And the pinnacle. The <laughs> it is the pinnacle. The Punoma. What is it? The Punoma? Is that it? It's French. I don't know French. Oh, I'm sorry. I only know Russian. That's that that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> that explains so much. But yeah, this is the pinnacle of the collection. The military Hortorum or the Guardian of the Gun. No, this was the Sentinel of the Garden, I believe. Oh. Quite romantic. Quite romantic. And that's actually the freehand was uh -huh. taken and designed in the same way. If you notice the heavy rose motif, because that corresponds with the family name of the client. Oh, okay. So that's why that has been worked in. And actually there are a lot of little Easter eggs throughout all the nights also incorporating the rose motifs. This guy was actually, um, he won, what is it? People's Choice Award, I think. This is an award-winning night, is what you're telling me? This is an award-winning night at Nova this year, 2019. $300, final offer. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the element I was talking about with a crazy idea was this. Oh, that's pretty nuts. It was the tapestry. So that's a decal, right? No. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you're really good at this painting. <laughs> wow. And it's got the little, the little poofy leg, mm -hmm. fleur de -lis. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. I don't think there's any inch of this, even the metal that you freehanded. Metal I, I, was blended. Metal on all these nights, to I some mean, degree, like is that, a true like metallic that. effect. Yes. Yeah, that's like that crazy. Band. Yep. I so, don't think there's any surface on this night that isn't some sort of like custom blend or freehand. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. I mean, but, it's very hard to. You'd have to look close. Sure. Sure, I'll take I'll take this tree cut. <laughs> yeah, that's this is probably the most detailed model I've ever seen in freehand work. Like actually laid my eyes on. Ah, uh, maybe maybe online too. I'd have to think there, about there it. Few, but it's, it's definitely the examples. top three. There's a few good examples out there. If I was a Tronosaurus Rex, this would be on my top three. <laughs> so, and the the story behind the sister actually, I guess that's gonna probably raise some questions. Was we we knew we wanted to add that component. 
mm -hmm. for that shrine feel. But then we had a question, okay, well, what is the because guardian, right? What is he guarding? Mm -hmm. So that's actually an entombment oh. of this sister saint. Okay. And then embellished and he carries the tomb that he is guarding with him at all, at all times and into battle. Nice. Just pick, just pick it up with a strong hand and put it down. Mm -hmm. Like, you stay right here. So, nice. And we got the, and then we designed the, well, I designed the custom livery for that night specifically. That's why you see the sister hall in there as well. So, wow. quite, a, quite, a, quite a bit of planning yeah. went into these. This is a little details. Once, once in a lifetime collection, once in a lifetime paint job, once in a lifetime video shoot. Not, yeah, chances of us pulling off something like that again, not for a while. Well, let's just say that. Well, not let's. Uh, there it is. So if you want, if you want something this dope, hit up Dark Bunny Creatives. They're on the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the YouTubes. They don't do as much on YouTube anymore, but don't tell them I said that. <laughs> and. I guess that's it. Check them out. Yeah, Dark Bunny Creatives uh, on Instagram and, fa and Facebook and also the website, darkbunnycreatives.com. Just Google it. You'll find yeah. it.